Base set. Jungle set. Fossil set and more combine in digital form to create the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. Which you can also play on the Game Boy, but it just won't look as pretty. Anyway, let's get this game started here. Brand new walkthrough, brand new game. So what's my name? It's PK Gam, and I'll be commentating this, but here's a little something a lot of people don't know. If you just go to end here and not choose anything, you'll get the default name of Mark. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Mark here. Mark is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day, Mark heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards. The extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card games' greatest players. The Grandmasters are searching for one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Mark visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. On TCG Island. Yeah, it's actually, this place is actually called TCG Island, the trading card game island. Oh, why the rush, Mark? What? You can learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game. So, you too finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a crap this deck. Here, I'll give, this, give you this deck. And now, you need an opponent. Hey, Sam, play with him for a while. Yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Mark. Okay, let's give it a try. And we go right over to the table here. Hey, Mark, hurry and come here. I that's not very friendly, but okay, I'll just come. Okay, I'll just come. First, ask Sam the basics of the game. Okay, Mark, what do you want to ask about? Actually, nothing, because we're going to be going into a practice duel, which will pretty much explain this for the most part anyway. <laughs> and I'll be explaining this in the walkthrough anyway, so yeah, I'm good. <laughs> they say that actions speak louder than words, so let's play a game. Since this is your first time, just start learning the basic stuffs. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. What do you mean by that? Uh, I'll just... Okay. <laughs> Might be easier if you read the Pokemon Trading Card Game Instruction Book while we play. Okay then, let's start your practice game. It's on! Do not shuffle a deck! No, practice game! Everything's scripted. Everything's scripted. You're guaranteed to win. Spoilers. <laughs> so... At the beginning of the game, you draw seven cards, and then you slap down some basic Pokémon. Oh, I'm so excited for that battle! Oh, yes! Are you excited too? I sure am excited. Okay. So... I can only choose basic Pokémon, huh? Uh-huh. So... Goldene or Star, you see those green squares with the white diamonds? Well, it's more like a yellowish, because all yellow screen is yellow, and yeah, with the green oval in the center, yeah, those are all basic Pokemon cards next to that symbol. It's a quick way to tell which is which, basically. For a practice duel, choose Goldeen. What if I were to say I'm gonna, you know, choose Staryu to play? Choose Goldeen for this practice duel, okay, okay! Calm yourself. Calm yourself, okay, I'm gonna play Goldeen. Okay, I'm just... <sighs> Get a little nervous here. Mason isn't as nice as the hype has said, and... Okay, let's put on... Put Staryu on the bench. You can put... Bench Pokemon out on your first turn as well. Very nice. Basic Pokemon, always remember. Always remember. Otherwise, Dr. Mason will probably have your head. When you have no Pokemon to put on your bench, press the B button to finish. You can actually check some uh, some of this stuff here, like uh, this is a trainer card. It represents a trainer action in case uh, you could play this to heal your active Pokemon uh, status ailments. And you can also check other cards in here, such as evolutions. But let's just move on for now. I don't want to complicate things too much. I just wanted to show you how to check stuff right away. So for this practice game, we have two prizes. When you take all the prizes, you win the game. How do you take those prizes? Well, you got to knock out your opponent's Pokemon, and for each Pokemon you knock out, you get one prize. Alright, so, a coin flip. Who will go first? I bet you it's gonna be heads. I bet you it's gonna be heads. I bet you three billion dollars that it's gonna be heads. Oh, it's heads! <laughs> yeah, you always get heads. I'm just joking around here. So, at the start of your turn, you always draw one card, and I got a water energy card. What's the point of these energy cards? Well, we're gonna see right here. To use the attack command, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokémon. Choose cards from the menu and select the water energy card. Next, choose your active Pokémon, Goldeen, and press the A button. Then the water energy card will be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting an attack command. Choose attack from the menu and select one attack. Got it? 
good. So what happens if I were to say, uh, you know, play this water and energy card on Staryu, and then end my turn? This is practice mode, so please follow my guidance. Okay. Okay. Let. Yeah, we're gonna do this again. No, I don't need the. I don't need your dialogue again. If you press yes, he's gonna type through all the dialogue again. But I'm just gonna click no. Okay. Let, let's play. <sighs> play calmly too. <sighs> All right, water energy, attack, horn attack. See, it requires, see, it's got that symbol next to that. That means water energy. And you can also check your uh, active Pokemon's stats and stuff by pressing start. See that? Yeah, horn attack, 10 damage. Attack, horn attack, and watch those circles at Machop's side of the screen, because it has 50 HP. It's gonna take 10 damage, go down to 40 HP. Yeah, those circles represent 10 HP, and when it's filled in, that means he's got a damage counter on it. So, yeah, 50 HP for Machop, 40 for Goldeen. Pretty simple stuff. Got it? Good. Let's keep playing. And I sense a low kick coming. Oh, this isn't gonna be good because Goldeen's only got 40 HP and it's gonna be knocked out next turn. Oh no! This is. What am I gonna do? My fish. It's, it's in grave. Carol and oh no, your Goldine's gonna get knocked out. Let's evolve it. Oh, sounds good. Choose Seeking from your hand and attach the Goldine to evolve it. Its HP increases from 40 to 70. Your Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. You need to attach a Psychic Energy card to Seeking. Star, which is actually a colorless symbol, means any energy card. Now you can use Waterfall. Keep the Water, water Energy card for other Pokemon. Now let's attack your opponent with Seeking's Waterfall. All right, so let's not disobey him anymore and just uh, just play it out, okay? By the way, uh, the reason why we didn't evolve Seeking last turn is because you can only evolve Pokemon the turn after and furthermore uh, from the turn that a basic Pokemon is played. So yeah, all right. So Psychic Energy, right on that Seeking attack with Waterfall, destroy Machamo! Yeah. Scripted excitement. <laughs> okay, what's he gonna do on his turn? Plop Tratata on the bench. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Getting Tratata prepared, I guess. And my fish is gonna be kicked around like a wet noodle. Unfortunately. I got another water energy. Seeking's got enough energy, so you don't need to attach anymore. Attach energy cards to your bench Pokémon to get them ready for battle. That was the sort of kind of mini example uh, that happened when the energy card attached to Rotata. But anyway, attach a water energy card to your bench Staryu. Next, select the attack command. Machop has 10 HP left. Seeking's horn attack will be enough to knock out Machop. Now choose Seeking's horn attack. Now Machop's HP is zero, and it is knocked out. When you knock out defending Pokémon, you can pick up a prize. Hoo! Now let's play the game! Okay, so, any water energy card will do. I'll plop that on Star U. Yep, I was purposefully rhyming there, and oh, I better not choose Waterfall, even though that'll knock out my chop as well, because I might get yelled at, so Horn Attack it is! <laughs> and there we go. Let's grab a prize card. Now, no matter what card you choose, it's gonna be a water energy. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's getting scripted. So, plopped out Rattata. And I can knock it out next turn. Oh no, he evolved it! I can't knock it out! Tricky, tricky. Okay, oh no! My fish is getting eaten alive! Oh no, it's gonna be knocked out next turn. Poor, poor Seeking. Okay, I got a Drowsy. And all your Pokemon are knocked out, and there are no Pokemon on your bench, you lose the game. But Drowsy, the basic Pokemon you just drew on your bench. That uh, first part of that blurb was kind of like a out of place, just to uh, explain it to the player, sort of out of place thing, you know, as a tutorial, because since there's two prize cards and we each got at least two Pokemon through this entire game, we'll never run out of Pokemon to send out into the arena, so that'll never happen. <laughs> anyway, gotta attach a Water Energy card to Drowsy, and attack with Waterfall. Which means that since Seeking is not gonna be able to knock out the Raticate with its Waterfall, Seeking is going down with the ship. Well, kind of. <laughs> anyway, waterfall! And... 30 damage. Half done with that rat fink. And... Yep. 
It's going down. It's going... No, seeking. Don't go belly up. No. <laughs> it's all scripted. It's supposed to happen that way. <laughs> As I said, guaranteed to win the scriptedness. <laughs> At least I think I said. That. I'm pretty sure I said that. Well, minor spoilers. You're gonna win this battle. <laughs> So, and it's gonna be a little explanation of stuff and ways that you can check stuff. But anyway, I wanna put out Star You apparently, otherwise, it's gonna be yelled at. And. Whoop. Oh, I got a potion that can recover 20 HP to any Pokemon of my choosing, including bench Pokemon. Alright, so I gotta attach stuff to Star You, get prepared ahead of time, and then slap it silly. I've always wanted to slap things around. <laughs> oh, it's on the ropes. It's on the ropes. Oh, man. It's almost over. Uh-oh, he put a Machop on the bench. Oh, preparing Machop, which means, yep, a switch. Pokemon can retreat if they have enough energy cards to discard to retreat. I should say energy cards attached to them to retreat. Oh, low kick! Oh no, Pain! This is a very similar situation to before. Alright, what do I have here? Ah, oh, that's kind of useless at this point! My Goldines are gone! Now recover, start you with a trainer card. Choose Potion from your hand. Ah! That sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. Gotta get it prepared for the future. Alright. Okay. Potion it up. Gets 20 HP recovered. There goes those damage counters. Plop that on Staryu. And start slapping her on the Machop. Oh yeah. How you like those apples? Hmm. What's he gonna do? We're gonna find out. Of course, it's another low kick. <laughs> it's only got one attack. I'm just joking around here. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? <gasps> I got the Star Me! No way! How did he know that we were going to draw a Starmie? Because it's scripted! Have you not been following? I'm just kidding. <laughs> now you have finally drawn a Starmie card! Choose Starmie from your hand and use it to evolve Staryu. You've already attached enough energy to you to use Star Freeze. Attack your opponent with Starmie Star Freeze. Uh, let's play the game. It doesn't tell you that uh, you could attach more energy cards if you would like to, uh, but you actually can. You won't get yelled at. <laughs> now let's do a Star Freeze. I bet I'm gonna get heads for this paralysis effect. Yeah, if you check Star Me, you'd notice that um, its Star Freeze attack has a chance of par paralyzing it if you get heads on the coin flip. And I'm gonna get heads! <laughs> Woo! And par paralysis prevents your opponent's Pokemon from retreating and attacking. Well, unless there's some special conditions, but I'll cover those sorts of things later. Uh, he's trying to prepare Machop. Is he gonna evolve it? No. It's over. <laughs> and between turns, paralysis gets erased. Alas. Alright. Got another water energy. Only 10 HP left. One prize card. One attack. We'll win the game. You excited? Oh, I sure am excited. I've never been more excited. So let's freeze that sucker one more time. Bads! <laughs> Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. All scripted! And... Yep, water. <laughs> I got all the prizes, which means... I win! Woo! The most exciting scripted game ever! Even though it's not really exciting because it is scripted, I was just overacting. <laughs> Basically, that's all the Pokémon trading area game is played. There's more to it, but I'll go over that later. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokémon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam. It might be helpful to practice again, too. This time was just practice, so I had you follow everything I said. But there are other styles of play, so try them out by choosing Normal Duel. Alrighty! So, not then. Let's build your deck. Did you bring your cards? So, I... I don't have very many cards. Hmm, let's add some of my own cards to yours. Now, Mark, what kind of deck do you want? Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, all three of these decks, pretty bad. They're, they're really, truly starter decks, so no matter which one you choose, 
it's not going to be pretty for you at first, for the most part. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. There's some ways and strategies that you could use to uh, make the best of your cards, but for the most part, they're pretty unconstructed decks. And as you've seen, I put the kinds of decks off on the side of the screen there so you could see which kinds of cards are in each deck. But for the sake of the walkthrough, what I'm going to choose is the Charmander and Friends deck. Oh, yes. Okay, a Charmander and Friends deck. Here are the remaining cards. Woo! And 30 cards for it, I guess. You should duel with many different people. Why don't you go to one of the card clubs? There are many people playing at the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. I mean, I'm gonna go talk to this guy here. He has something to say to us. To save your game, press start and choose Diary from the menu. You can do all sorts of stuff with that PC over there. You can read email from Dr. Mesa on that PC too! Oh, awesome. So, I am going to save my game and then head over to some sort of club, as well as explore this place by moving around with the D-pad and chatting with people at the A button in the next part! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then!